The Skywalker storyline in the Star Wars universe comes to an end. This is a spoiler-free review of the new film, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. People keep telling me they know me. No one does. But I do. Ray, Poe, Finn, Chewie, and the others are back to battle a familiar face looking to rule and or destroy the galaxy. Long have I waited. And now, Coming together. Is your undoing. Director and writer J.J. Abrams returns to the helm for the final chapter, taking on the tough task of wrapping up the story of some of film's most beloved characters that's satisfying to fans old and new, casual and hardcore. And to this hardcore fan, who admittedly will never be completely satisfied, I think he does a pretty good job of creating a fitting farewell. Episode 9 is really about the rise of Rey as a Jedi and a leader, and Daisy Ridley's wonderful. Confident and cunning, she was really a joy to watch. The other newer characters felt rejuvenated as well. John Boyega as Finn, Kelly Marie Trans as Rose, and Poe played really well by Oscar Isaac are no longer the empty shells portrayed in the mess that was The Last Jedi. Stay alert, there's a lot to see. The Easter eggs are numerous, as are the connections to the past and the future. Some will give you goosebumps, others will make you smile, and maybe even shed a tear. The story itself is a little convoluted and took a few unnecessary detours, but otherwise pretty solid as far as Star Wars stories go. But for me, it was this final visit with some of my favorite people. Leia, Lando, and the others who I'll let you see for yourself that I just felt were used way too little in these last three movies, but I'm happy to get one more adventure with, and while I'm sad their story is over, I'm glad I got to be a part of it. And for that, I give Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker four stars out of five on the Rob rating scale. May the Force be with us all. I'm Rob LaFriends, and I'll see you at the concession stand.